me, Nastas. Can you offer any further insight into Van der Linde's modus operandi? Oh, oh dear, what am I thinking? Forgive me! Have you seen what the white man is doing in the mountains? I understood you the first time. I didn't. He has been rounding up young men, promising them freedom and a return to their lands. Many are angry and desperate enough to believe him. Sounds familiar. Ah, yes, Mr. Marston. It's all coming back to me now. Weren't there some similar ideals tangled up in your story? Dutch was always fighting to change something, but nothing ever changed. People just died. Maybe that's what sent him crazy. My word, this just keeps getting better. You see, this is what I came to the West for. Tales of no misguided outlaws trying to twist wrong into right. I'd pay a dollar for your dime novel, Mr. Marston. Let me tell you. Vanderlyn says he's helping my people, but they don't see what he's turning them into. There's no truth in it, just hate and violence. Oh, Nastas, my dear sweet Nastas. Surely you can't be hypothesizing it is Vanderlyn who has turned them savage rather than the other way around. That sounds about right to me. What an intriguing notion. <laughs> Utterly absurd, of course. But I love a good chicken and egg conundrum. I will enjoy wrestling with that one in the small hours. Yes, I will.